far stay. Hey there. Trading? Yeah, sure. let's see what you got. Always? Sure. I can at least talk some of this shit. I don't need that or that. Or that. Or any of this. Or that. And you can give me, in return, some of your shit. What do you got on the shit front, Carla? Lovely. Oh, no, that's a different thing. Okay, whatever. Fuck it. So, the Fort Strong thing I could do. Um, we may as well do Dangerous Mines because it's an easy quest to do. So, let's go do that. Oh, it's, he is in your house, the house you're in, typically. That's what you were trying to say. Um, yeah, he's, he, he, I guess, sleeps somewhere, or kicks it somewhere during the nighttime, and he just paces fucking up and down the street during the day. Like a bitch. Yeah, a good test to see if I can do Fort Strong would be to, like, try to fight Swan. Or see if I could fight Swan. It would be a hell of a lot easier if I had my level 3 power or I mean, level 3 stuff, but... It doesn't seem like it's likely to be coming up here anytime soon. I'm basically gonna have to have the level 3 science, which means I'm gonna have to be level 28 or whatever. Fucker. Give me that Yao Guai meat, fool. Wait, where the hell am I? Yeah, you fuck. Enjoy bleed damage. Oh, good. I feel like we're doing a lot better in this power armor than we were in the other power armor. It may be the bonus to strength that was making the difference. I love I have to unlock this door with a fucking lockpick. From the inside, and all the windows are broken. I think Vault 69 is in one of the... is in one of the fucking things. in like Fallout 2 or whatever because it's like an earlier an earlier vault or whatever you know we're all the way up to 111 where the hell you shoot me from bro I don't like it oops oh you're done what was that something about a rad roach and how hard I hit How's your fucking throat? All caved in and shit? A bed, a dresser. Yeah, there's like nothing up here. Just a silly broken ass path that seems very unlikely in the... in the realm of nuclear possibilities. Let's see here. Which direction? What the fuck are we even doing? I seriously don't remember. Oh yeah, we're going to Dr. Amari. Who else wants a fucking fist to the face head neck? Just full sprint all the way wherever. And I'm 
tired. And the more I move, the faster my AP regenerates. I just wanted to activate that bridge, but it didn't do anything. Bleed damage. Bleed damage forever. Oh, so, okay, so we have actually a lot more strength, which is why we're doing this much damage. It's coming from two things. It's coming from solar powered, um, which isn't working right now, I don't think, but it would work if it was daytime. And it's also coming from the BOS power armor paint, which gives, I think, a plus to strength as well. So, that's one of the reasons why we're suddenly doing more damage than we were doing, because we have a huge amount of strength at this point. And that might be a good trade-off for the energy resistance until I go up against, like, you know, the kid in the fridge gunners, or possibly... What is the meaning of this shit? Quit shooting at me! Good God. With your fucking... With your fucking mutanty ass. Ouch. Alright, I see how to get up there. Let's fucking eat some shit. I've never been up here before, so I don't know. What is this ruined skyscraper? Yeah, the, so the solar power perk helps with the damage. I probably do more damage outside than I do inside. Although, who knows? Maybe it just does it all the time between the hours of blop and blop. Uh, show effects. All of the HP, and the Gwinnett Ale. Um, this is... where is it? Solar powered is... Gained to plus two strength and endurance between the hours of 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. So, it doesn't matter if I'm inside, outside, raining, whatever. Um, as long as it's between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. And right now it's almost, but not quite, 6 p.m., so... I'm probably gonna have my... my... Well, let's take a look here. This is a great time to check. So it says Strength 13 right now. It should be the 11 from the Power Armor, plus 2. Um, though I would have thought that It probably, now that I come to think of it, it probably doesn't affect the power armor thing. But maybe it does, but maybe it doesn't. Because it kind of like sets your base, when you wear power armor, it sets your base strength to 11. Like, no matter what. Hello, someone there. These are pretty buttons. Let's press the pretty buttons. Where is the elevator or whatever? Oh, here we go. What else you got? Some razor grain? Give it to me. Fighting. It appears to be the. Uh, it appears to be gunners and super mutants. So let's sprint through all these dudes and do a bunch of damage to everybody. Yeah, 
Yeah, you ain't legendary no more. And you ain't a gunner no more. And you fucking zero me. You just need to fuck right off out of here. With your fucking hot shot bullshit. I'm just checking. Checking on some things. Oh, I didn't upgrade the light because I didn't have enough something. Adhesive, probably. We're back to shitty light, huh? Too bad. Okay. Instigating double barrel shotgun. I think that does more damage if they have full life. Which is pretty crazy. There wasn't a jump scare moment with elevators as far as I've seen, but there has been a uh, feral ghoul in a Pulaski preservation shelter that kind of surprised me. Oh, hey, I probably should have uh, checked my life every once in a while. It's a little bit different for me because I'm not used to wearing power armor, so I never look at the health now. Okay. So I fucked up. I don't even really need to be in here. I just kind of wanted to go to the top of the... to the top of this fucking elevator and then down again. gonna kill me, friend. You're not gonna do shit. You're a bunch of fucking amateurs. My kill. All right, Mr. Machine Gun. Now he has an exterminator's laser pistol. Now what the fuck? Was I not on your team just a second ago? Now you're gonna fucking shoot me in the back? What? Bullshit. You guys have no sense of, like, gratitude at all. You know? I made your life easier, and what do you fucking do in, re in return? You fucking shoot me. dead. You are the one who is dead. Yeah, this, this build began with me getting the power armor at the Freedom of the Museum of Freedom quest and then spending the like next 20 minutes like slowly fighting a death plot to death. Okay. That's fine. The light just came up in front of my face. I failed to see how hitting somebody with a security baton would do anything. Anything at all. If they're wearing power armor. You know what I mean? 
Oh, you're so cute. With your short haircut. This is the guy to stop from using his gun for sure. Yes, you are definitely taking casualties. You are a casualty. Matter of fact, think about this. You are one. None. I kind of was hoping that there was going to be some sweet loot in here somewhere. You know, a magazine no or... Way I could pick this. You know, a pretty kiss on the mouth. Something. Nah, there's not, not a fucking thing in here no more. We got fucked, man. I wanted secrets. I wanted bobbleheads and magazines and handfuls of cash, but what did they give me? None. I mean, I do get to jump off of this building. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can, I think the, the first part of this build is still archived on Twitch. You could watch it if you wanted to go back to see some of the stuff that we'd have already done. Um, but it, it's been, it's been pretty fucking crazy. Some of the stuff that we pulled off, like right at the beginning of the game. We kind of get, we're kind of getting fucked here because we're not really using a whole lot of perks. I mean, we are, but we're not. Like, we are, but we're not. Like, we're not doing... The, the Iron Fist perk we're using, and then the crafting perks we're using, and we're benefited a lot from Pain Train, and probably, without thinking about it, we benefited a lot from um, Moving Target. But, uh, you know, and there's also Ghoulish and Solar Power that have been helping, like, a little bit here and there. But it's not like we're using, like, our Sneak to Sneak, or our fucking whatever to whatever. Oh, God. It is so fucking bad right now. Why is it so bad? Alright, it's starting to pick up. It has to do with... No, up. Up, up. Up the path. It has to do with, like, a... Shadows or something like that, from what I've been told. Oh, no. I just clipped through a wall. I shouldn't be up here. I'm in a place that I'm not allowed to be, I think. Alright, where, what are we doing here? What's the point? Yes, Walter, what is the point? Is there any special things for us to play with up here? I don't believe so. Um. I think the good neighbor entrance is, like, right there on the other side of this. Which leads me to wonder, like, where is good neighbor? Right? Let me look at this map here. Yeah, see, we should be looking directly out onto good neighbor. But, we, okay, sure. Um, without doing anything, we just did something, and I don't know exactly what it was that we did, but... No weapons, no chems, no stims, no companions. Yeah, we just teleported into Good Neighbor by jumping into the inside of where it was supposed to be. From the top of that building. So that's cool. Hey, hold up there. First time in... You better back off. What was that? I, I couldn't hear. Almost. You hand over everything you I got wonder what happens if you do this. What happens if I kill Finn? <laughs> I like you. Walk into a new place, make a show of confidence. Nice. See? You can do it that way, too. Yeah, I feel you. Good. So long and sure. Well, let's have him be naked and hawk it to this bitch. Oh, new face walks into my. Uh, I probably can't fucking pass any of her speech checks, but I'll try. Sure. 
Oh, uh, I didn't do the thing that I was supposed to do. But that's okay. It's not that important. I don't actually really need the booze, but for some reason I've been carrying it around a lot. Whiskey and wine and all that shit. We don't really need any of that either. We have quite a lot of Nuka-Cola. In fact, we could probably go through the whole game with nothing but the purified water and the Nuka-Cola. But that, where's the fun in that? We're the motherfucking fridge, man. We gotta have tons of goddamn food on us at all times. Oops, that's my future course. I need those. I need those for fusing, bro. Oh yeah, I was gonna take her little Boston Library quest. Wait, you're two hundred. Do you know? Actually, so let. I had a beautiful house. It was. So what do you remember? Oh, that. It's the truth. You know. Really? What kind of things do you sell? Oh, what kind of things do you sell? Oh, we want to turn in this quest here. Got any work? I do, actually. Yeah, we could send him to Sanctuary. I don't see why not. Any I don't think that's enough money to cover. Look, the job. You got a deal, Daisy. Thanks. Uh, I can't remember exactly where he is, but he's somewhere around here. Cleo doesn't have anything good for me, I don't think. Is he in the old state house? He's in the hotel, right? I, I like that a lot. I thought that was a really neat fucking Easter egg type thing. I mean, not an Easter egg. It's not necessary for a quest, though. It's just like Brother a thing. Steel. Better stay out of good neighborhood. All I'm saying. Heard what you did. Saved Rex Goodman from the Super Mutants, right? Guess not everyone appreciates the bar. Am I right? Now I've seen a lot of crazy stuff in my time. But a flying ship? <laughs> Yowza. Where is this motherfucker? That's for steals. Jeez Louise. That's so hey there. A new player in Good Neighbor. Hello, little Paul. Mm. Welcome to our funny world. Fuck you, Fahrenheit, you fucking sleazy bitch. You're gonna talk shit right to my face? I'll kill your ass. Kill everyone in this whole fucking city. What's this? Take that. I don't know what good it's gonna do, but we'll take it. Oh, bullshit. The Hotel Rexford. Let's do some... Let's do some Amari shit. I'll show you the fast way to complete that quest. Let's watch this guy recognize who I am inside of a suit of power armor. Be like, wait, you're that Carl Weathers ass looking motherfucker, right? Are you going to hang out in the lobby all day again? Or are you actually going to go down and do some work? Being available to the customers is work. It's not all about cooking chems, Claire. It's not all about sampling those chems either. Maybe if you stop using, you can focus. What? Where's the fun in cooking it if you ain't using it? My mistake. Oh man, someone new. You need some. You have any work? Yeah, you know, I mean. Your offers? Uh, All right, Fred. We have a deal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot I went in there for a fucking reason, and it wasn't to take the hallucinogen bullshit quest. That quest is ridiculous, but kind of funny. You know, that's a good point, but I've been basically using my... I've been using my uh, plastic for upgrading... Upgrading, um... Like the, the, bar, the, the body armor, whatever, power armor shit. But I could gain XP from and and cash from just cranking out a million fucking canisters of jet. Look, 
I know it's an open door, but it's like a philosophically open door, okay? Get the hell out. A philosophically open door would be an open door that's like open, you know, f in the heart or something. Oh, hey, babe. What? No, it can't. It, 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 it's you. From Sanctuary Hills. How right? the fuck would you know that? Going to have a conversation with Mr. Wait, Morowski are you from vault -Tec? I am uh, for you. Well, you kill enough people, sooner or later something's bound to make you immortal. Oh, after the bombs. The air is nicer up here in the lobby. You saw Codsworth? What did he say? Welcome to our happy home, sir. Can I get you a drink? Cheerio. Just like that. Over and over. Yep, I must have said Codsworth's blind optimism levels too stunningly. You know. Oh god. Hey, you know, you could head back to Sanctuary. Really? Yeah, there you go. Okay. Alright, damn champ. Welcome to my happy home. I would jump off of this, but I think it would do damage to her, and then everybody in good neighbor would try to kill me, so I'm not gonna. Got enough fucking problems, if I you know what I mean. You I thought that was the guy that wants me to find the fucking brewery robot. One lady and a thousand cats in it? I think I saw it on a Reddit post, but I don't really remember. It was pretty ridiculous. Yeah, there was a, um, there was a, a theory about, um, about why there's suddenly cats in fallout when there was never cats before and they were even declared extinct as part of like general canon of the game and uh, they basically just said that uh, oh, here's Deacon that cheap shit bastard they basically said that uh, you know that they're all extinct but suddenly there's cats and the theory is that one of the vaults was like a cat lady vault where it was just one lady and a thousand cats and she had all the all the, you know, resources to take care of cats or whatever, and that's all she did. It's a fun one. All right. Have a good night, typical Moxie. It is very nice to have you guys with me here. Um, Jesus, what time is it? Oh, it's 9.14 here, so... But I, I do a lot of streaming very, very late at night, so if you guys are around, if you're awake, in different parts of the world, whatever, that sort of thing. This one's all yours, Nick. We need... Are you doing... Uh -huh. I mean, technically, the corpse was defiled already. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You Neither. Could you say that like Dr. Frankenstein? Ego, fetch me the brain. No. No, I will not. No. Mm. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait, that's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Mm, those circuits look off. I'm not surprised. Uh-huh. Nick's an older one. That's it. Don't worry. I appreciate this, Nick. You can yep, yep, yep. If I start I think I have to get out of this thing to use the box. Let's see here. What up? 